Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For those new here, my name is Nikki, I'm an author and editor and I post videos here on YouTube about writing, editing, reading and all the other things I love. And today we're here because I have an exciting new release to share with you. This is a short story, uh, MM Contemporary's Tale, that uh, I originally wrote for a call for an anthology collection and uh, unfortunately they wanted stories at least 12,000 words long and mine came in at about ten and a half-ish and uh, they said they couldn't uh, make an exception so although they liked the story uh, it was too short for what they wanted so since then it's been sitting around on my computer and my friend Alina has been encouraging me to self-publish some more pieces and I had a few short stories lying around so I thought that was a good place to start and I chose to go with this one first. So the title of the story is Pirates of Romance and in this story our main character Zander um, he is uh, new to town and his colleague has persuaded him that the best way to make some friends would be to join her amateur dramatics group. Um, he arrives uh, to discover they're about to put on a production of The Pirates of Penzance by Gilbert and Sullivan. In the group he meets Graham who is the group's resident playboy and uh, I don't want to give too much of the story away but essentially uh, there's a few misunderstandings along the way, but I can promise you a happy ending by the conclusion of the tale. So, I'm going to just read you a brief little excerpt from the opening scene. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Light shone from the open doorway leading into the church hall. To some, it must have looked warm and welcoming on this cold winter's night. However, Zander viewed it with the same trepidation he would the gates of hell. What was he doing here? Maybe it wasn't too late to change his mind, get back in his car and drive home. As long as no one saw him leave, there'd be no shame in running away. Headlights blinded him as a vehicle poured into the church car park. Even now he could escape if he hurried. Why were his feet not moving? The car's engine died and the door opened. Sander, you made it! Too late. Of all the people to arrive at that moment, it had to be the only one who would recognise him. Kristen locked her vehicle and raced to Zander's side her sizable handbag banging against her hip. She slipped her arm through his in the relaxed, easy manner of intimate friendship all straight women seemed to assume and with him, and propelled him toward the entrance he now thought of as the gaping mouth to eternal damnation, chattering all the way. It was lucky Kristen was perfectly capable of maintaining a conversation by herself, for he struggled to keep up with the deluge of information, too lost in his own dreadful imaginings. What momentary fit of insanity had prompted him to accept her invitation? If only he'd not sung while fixing himself a coffee in the staff kitchen last week. Had she not come in in that moment and heard him, none of this would be happening. Not that it was her fault. She was only trying to be kind. As his colleague, she knew he was new to town and had no friends and family nearby, and she wanted to make him feel welcome. He applauded the sentiment, but was amateur dramatics really the way to go about it? So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll uh, be interested to check out the story which is available in ebook form from all the usual places you'd expect, Amazon, Kobo and the like. So uh, do have a look, I'll put some links below for you to further information. And for now I'll say goodbye but I'll be back again very soon with another vlog for you all. Bye for now everyone.